This is my third time trying to make this recording here. I'm trying not to swear, but I'm at the edge of my patience. All right. So we got this Dell Latitude E5510 that when you go to update the BIOS to the latest BIOS, depending on how old the BIOS is, I believe mine was at A06, it won't let you go to A12, A13, whatever the latest is at, until you go to Rev A10, okay? So, this one came back from the customer, it was shutting you down randomly, intermittently, I tried checking out the memory because that's generally the issue with these, and uh, it didn't seem to be the memory. I kept going at it, and then I recreated the error. It shut down, and then uh, I finally checked the BIOS and realized the BIOS is way out of rev. And then I updated the BIOS to the latest BIOS, and everything is working great. But uh, it was a two-step process to get to the latest BIOS because it has to go to BIOS rev A10 before it can go to the current BIOS rev, which I'm not sure what that's at. So we can look at whatever that BIOS rev is at in a minute. What I want to get at to with you is you have to make this bootable USB drive, okay? To make this bootable USB you drive, you, you have to, to make this bootable yeah, USB you drive, drive, you have to go to Dell And it's a uh, Dell Diagnostics Deployment, I believe. Dell Diagnostics Deployment. And here it is. How to create a bootable USB flash drive. So you want to go to that page. You want to go down to Download the Dell Diagnostics Deployment Package, DDDP, click on the link, click Save, that'll bring the executable, you're going to run the executable, I already have it, okay, I believe it's in my downloads. Yeah, this is what it, it ends up being CW1322A. If you run that, obviously, it's a program file. And it's going to ask you to uh, put a USB drive in the USB port. And then it's going to make a bootable flash drive. Okay. Install to a USB flash drive. You click on that. I don't have a flash drive in there. You put a flash drive in your USB port. It'll make it bootable. Okay. Once it's bootable, this is what it's going to end up looking like. It's going to have these boot files. Okay. This. D610 A06, that's BIOS Rev A06 for a different Dell computer, a D610 Dell laptop. Here's the Latitude uh, E5510A. There's also an E6510A17. So I have a number of uh, BIOS on here. But the main the main point is that you want to have these two dot bin files, the Dell Bio dot bin and the Dell RMK dot bin. Because I'll show you what you're going to get when you download that deployment, that DDDP. Here's what you're going to end up getting. Okay. You're going to end up having all of these extra files on there. And you really only need those two. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's just a ridiculous extra number of files. So... Once, once you have made that, once you've made this, I'll show you. You can boot your uh, Dell Latitude E5510 right from this 
flash drive. Okay, we'll boot this up. I'm gonna take this out. I'm gonna take this off. Okay. Now, when you're powering up a Dell laptop, you want to tap the F12 key. The F12 key will give you your, uh, you can go into BIOS, it'll give you your BIOS options, it'll give you your, your boot options, okay? I'm going to have to restart this because it's already started and I missed the time where you, where you tap the F12. So, this will take a minute. It's on battery power. As we start, all right. Now I'll be doing the F12 key. On an HP, you do the escape key. On Dell's, you do the F12 key. Turn the boot up. This may have some Windows updates trying to try and install. I want to show you guys this because I don't know how familiar you all are with the old DOS commands. So, and you will need to run a DOS command once this powers up. So it's going to take too long. There it goes. All right. So now on the boot up, start tapping on the F12 key, preparing one time boot, on the USB storage device, it's a flash drive, okay, it comes up to a flash and C font, do DIR for directory, this brings up everything that's on that bootable drive. And the one that we want, if you recall, is the E55A10, because we have to have A10 BIOS. Right? So, E55A10. I'm oh, sorry, E55 10. E55 10. A10. Enter. Okay. Here's your screen where you're going to start to do your BIOS flash from. This isn't going to let me flash this because I don't have it plugged in. It won't do it with just battery power. If I say yes, it'll say please connect AC power. And I'm just going to leave it off here. So I'll just escape out of there. Hold down the power button. Missing power. Okay. Leave any notes in the comments that you want. If you have any questions about this, I've been having problems getting this video to work. So that that covers everything, though. Okay. Have a good night.